drive is weighing good. So, well, YouTube, that YouTube employee uh, was working this morning as he went into freak out mode. He deleted my video on TWG. If I hadn't had complained at the time he had deleted it, yeah. Guy is an ass. <clears throat> A little sore that I exposed him. Very few people saw that video. But uh, I, for some reason, am being attacked. This psychopath who works for YouTube, who exposed himself as a Mormon, I gotcha. <laughs> had created a whole channel in which he was putting videos on, not just his regular ones that he would attack me with, send me death threats, and all, si all types of abuses. <coughs> and, uh, and I don't, I guess if he's working for YouTube, he can control things so that he can rig the system against me. But normally, I mean, there was a guy previously to this who had my name, TWG, and was uh, doing clips from the prophets, as if that was going to bring people uh, to his channel. And, and it doesn't make any sense to do that kind of tactic because it only draws attention to my channel, first of all, but second of all, my channel is already suppressed by YouTube. If you haven't noticed, I don't get very many views anymore. I used to. Used to get up to 100, unless I had a breakout video on TWG, and I had several breakout videos. And Travis Wayne Goodsell, easily 1,000. That's my number one, is nearing 39,000. That was about the return to Independence, Missouri, as I had not found the Joseph Smith paper from 19 July 1840 yet. Yeah, it's not Missouri, Mormons. But you don't care. You're following the Living Prophet, and the Living Prophet said it's Salt Lake City. And so I did the video this morning, and I have I do lots of repeats. It's just I present it in a different manner. I've told you the Book of Mormon isn't a real history. I just told you in various different ways with various different titles. And some titles do better than others, and sometimes thumbnails may contribute, but if YouTube's purposely not allowing people to see my videos on their feed, what good is a thumbnail? But, uh, yeah, the I did have a breakout on a thumbnail and YouTube banned my TWG channel for two weeks when there was no violation of the policy. <clears throat> so yeah, this, this morning's video, it is devastating. We're talking laying waste to the LDS Church. Because the Book of Mormon is the keystone. And I just destroyed it. And I'm Mormon. I believe in the Book of Mormon. I know it is true. But I destroyed it. How can that be, Travis? <laughs> because I destroyed it as a history. That's a problem with keystones. 
is when you have an incorrect interpretation, an incorrect understanding, it's easy to destroy misinformation and disinformation. Truth is what all Mormons should be pursuing. You guys didn't do that. I did. I know the truth. I know how to destroy the church. Because it's wrong. They have misunderstood, misinterpreted all things Joseph. It's not complicated. I am not your enemy. If you watched my channel on Travis Wayne Goodsell, in the beginning I was doing video, which were very poor quality videos. I was still learning my movie maker. <coughs> learning how to use my movie maker. <coughs> but I was doing segments to teach from my books that I was publishing on Amazon. And uh, I was trying to share with you my knowledge of how Joseph Smith is correct. How the, his religion, his rituals, his doctrines, his theologies, his administration were all correct. Bishop didn't like it, extorted me, said stop posting your books, publishing books and posting videos, otherwise why are you bothering to come to church? Wow, really? Joseph Smith is no longer our founder, so I don't go to church. Wasn't excommunicated, just the bishop used his authority with the misinformation and disinformation of misunderstanding and misinterpreting Mormonism to banish me from the church. So I'm the good guy, Mormons, and yet you hate me. This Mormon, who's a YouTube employee, who's been through the temple, who's instead following the bad examples in the Book of Mormon, such as Helaman chapter 6, he's punishing me according to his law because he's in a position of power working for YouTube. He's violating the laws of the land and the laws of his God to attack me. <clears throat> and so I would rather be doing those original videos. I'd rather be going over each of the different Egyptian picture glyphs and translating them for you and showing where they are in the Bible and where they should be in the Bible. Like I've done the videos in multiple different ways, I've just I fulfilled Ezekiel 37. Walked right into it because I wanted to know if Joseph Smith was a translator. Yeah, he is. But the Book of Mormon is not history. There are no plates. Was not translated, therefore. Joseph Smith didn't even write it. That's okay with me. Because the truth gives me knowledge of the big picture of what's going on. And I don't need to fear the truth. Mormons apparently think they have to fear the truth and perpetuate the lies with their beliefs and opinions and their spiritual witness. The current church is the problem. From Brigham Young. And maybe it's just that you don't know what to do then. If this isn't the true church, and there is no true church on the face of the earth, what do you do? Have you not 
read your scriptures? Have you not listened to my videos? Because I've been forced to spend my time exposing the church. Exposing Mormons for following the false prophets. And pointing out how the correct doctrine, theology, administration, ritual, etc. are supposed to be. And yet, if you're going to say, no, but I have to maintain that the church is true. I don't know. I'm scared of the truth. Nelson's hurting you guys. He's causing harm. Financially, spiritually, and physically. He's causing damage to you guys. And yet you still love and trust him. This is worse than Stockholm Syndrome. How have you guys gotten so deceived? That you would turn on me. That you would refuse to follow my channel. So that you would learn how to learn about Mormonism. That you would learn how to find the truth and not be afraid press forward with faith because you can be assured of getting to the end of the light Nelson's murdering you guys and I still have people denying it he knew about coronavirus in advance. We as Mormons had the scriptures to know there was going to be a viral outbreak in the latter days. Section 45, verse 31. Also from Moses. It's a type and shadow of the second coming. Which you guys have misinformed and disinformed incorrect information that it's the second coming. Nelson knew, not just because he's the prophet who speaks for God, not just because he reads his scriptures, but because he called China. Remember? And double in Shanghai. He pulled a con. Murder to get gain. Six billion dollars worth of gain as we're over 3,000 dead Utahns. And others are long haulers. All he had to do was say, hey, we've got trillions of dollars saved up for this latter day crisis we prepared as a church and they didn't bishop storehouses no they sort of didn't want to pursue that it's a token thing they can't handle a crisis not for a city not for the state not for the nation not for the world it's only a token thing when a faithful couple who pay their tithing loses their job. Oh no, can we get help, Bishop, for a couple of weeks until we get a new job? Yeah, but you'll have to work. But we're out of work. Well, yeah, this doesn't come for free. Did you know that? I told the stories of the nightmares in this ward old man in a wheelchair on a breathing tube and an IV
so yeah I would love to be going over the things of the kingdom as the scriptures tell us but instead I've got to talk about the horrors of hell for following a false prophet